Hello everyone and welcome to Minecraft Modding, episode number 2. Well, as you may already know, Minecraft just updated to the version 1.4 underscore 01. And that just screw us all, the, mother, the mothers, because we have to wait for MCP to release the version that can decompile Minecraft 1.4. And we need to wait for Izugami to release his mod loader. Well, finally that that is all already released. And you can download it. The links for the Izugami mod loader and for the MCP will be in the description. So let's go ahead, open our Eclipse. And today we are going to add an item to the game. This is what you guys requested. And... If we have time I will show you how you can spawn your how you can spawn your your block in the game. And another thing before I start, thanks to a guy, I don't know your name, that told me that Cooper is not Cooper with two O's but with two P's. Yeah, that was really bad. <laughs> it doesn't matter now. To do a block a block, sorry, uh, an item, the first thing you have to do is declare a variable and it's almost exactly the same as a block but instead of having block we have item, so public static final item and then the name of the variable, in my case Co Cooper Ingot. So once we write that come here and we're going to declarate the properties of our block of our I of the of our item and those will be cooper cooper ingot equals new item and inside the brackets it's the id of the item this is this don't have anything to do with the id of the block so for the ID of the item we are we can give it the ID 1000 yeah that looks cool 1000 and we have to write set item name this is not the game that will appear on the game but let's set it to cooper ingot and bam we have our cooper ingot declarated and now we can move on to the texture and the name that will appear on the game. So for that you have to write on the function public mod cooper or whatever is going to be the name of your mod. So we have to write cooper ingot dot econ index equals mod loader dot add override and open and close brackets and in the block one we have to we have to write terrain.png well in the icon we have to write g slash and then items.png and the other one is where you have where you will have the texture of your item so bg Cooper ingot dot png. So now we have our ingot with some texture. I can show you the texture. Is this one? And now the name we're going to give it is mod loader dot add name. And is this is just the same as the block so cooper ingot and the name is going to be Coop cooper ingot oh, oh yeah let's change cooper block to Clo cooper or and save this I'm not going to show you how this is going right now I will show you one more thing that is how you can use our cooper block and smelt that into cooper ingots and to do that keep on the function 
more than the name of your mod and we are going to write mod loader dot add smelting and inside the brackets what are we going to write is the first one is cooper in my case dot block id it is the well the block that you need to sm that you will smelt in my case is the cooper block and this is the int so we have to give it the id of the block so this is done and now the second part is the item that we will get so right new item stack open and close brackets and inside those brackets you will have to write the item that you will get when you smelt in my case cooper ingot and after that is a value this will depend my in my case I want one what this will do is the amount of items that you will get when you smelt something so you will get one cooper ingot for each cooper that you will smelt so to test that let's go recompile everything and once this is compiled this is recompiled we're going to i think i've already done this in the last tutorial i don't remember and now okay you have to write in here the name of the things that you have added to the game or overwrite it so in my case the bleh, it was the mod cooper was this class and mod cooper and block cooper you save that and you go reobfuscate the code this may take a while let's just wait a little bit and bam you have to copy these classes into your minecraft folder so minecraft bin minecraft open with winrar and paste them there and one more thing you will need to have your folder with both of your textures I have already that done you need to exit that exit that you can close this and open minecraft okay minecraft is opened and now I have already set up here a world with some furnaces so let me give myself the cooper or no cooper block okay and if we place our cooper in the furnace you will get your cooper ingot and you can see it. well let me just spawn some iron ingot let me see okay it is almost <laughs> it is the same it's just have a different color but yeah this is how you can smell things with the mod loader and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this tutorial. If you do, leave me a like. That helps a lot to grow our channel. If you want to continue seeing more of these, subscribe to our channel. <laughs> Kashishu will release his Age of Mythology. I don't know really when, but he will. I guarantee that to you <laughs> and yeah thanks a lot for the support guys we have grow, grown a lot in the last few weeks and we are very exci excited for that that just keep us motivated to do our work and to do things that you guys enjoy to see now Easter that means I will have some money and I'm planning on buying an something that I, <laughs> I don't know the name right now something to record from the playstation what do you guys think 
should I buy it and should I do some games of the PlayStation like Black Ops or something? Yeah. So thank you a lot again. And yeah, that's all for now. In the next tutorial, hmm. Maybe not maybe. I will do the generate of your block in the world. I don't have time to do it in this episode, but I will do it in the next next one. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that and peace out.